Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy, and I just wanted to do a quick server modding tutorial where you could add more stuff to things like backpacks. So here's your traditional Talon backpack or Taloon backpack, I think it's called in the files, and we would call it a hiking backpack um, in the actual game. And if we can look inside this one, we can see, ooh, it's got some food, it's got a torch, and it's got a smoke grenade. So the idea with this is that if you wanted to make your server a little bit more user-friendly, maybe to new players and things like that, and you wanted to have more stuff in backpacks, how would you go about it? So there's a couple of files we're going to be manipulating. And remember, this works for PC, PlayStation, and Xbox consoles. So you want to whip on over to your... Um, your servers um, and you'll want to go to the file browser and you'll want to go into the missions folder um, and if it's Chernus it's Chernus Plus if it's Enoch if it's Livonia it'll be Enoch and we want the here we go it's coming out we want the CFG spawnable types which is there so you want to download that or you can edit it on your browser I'm um, not a big fan of that but you can do that if you want to and we want the CFG random presets where's that one Let's see if I'll find it there are random presets so download those and open them up in your favorite text editor highly recommend uh, notepad plus plus because it kind of color code stuff and stops you making uh, mistakes so spawnable types this is the file that says to the game Look, when a Taloon bag blue or a hiking bag blue spawns in, spawn it with this stuff inside it, as you can see here. And it's not saying specific things. It's saying presets, cargo presets. So it's saying the, tal the Taloon bag blue normally would have a cargo preset of food village and a cargo preset of mix village. So you may be saying, well, what are they then? Well... If we go and have a look in CFG or random presets, we can search, for example, Mix Village. Now, your one will say cargo chance equals 0.1, and it'll have all this stuff underneath it. Um, and what this means is, it looks in here and it says, ooh, so Mix Village. Now, normally it's only a 10% chance, okay? So you've got a t 1 in 10 chance of having one of these items, and which item it will be, will depend on the percentage that's next to them. So, for example, you'll have a 1 in 10 chance <laughs> of getting one of these, and if you get one of these, there's a 10% chance, so 0.1, that it's paper. There's a 5% chance it's a kitchen knife. There's a 10% chance it's a can of tuna. There's a 9% chance it's a spaghetti can. Now, the other random preset is, is Food Village and Mixed Village. So let's let's do a search for uh, Food Village. There we go. So there we go. So there you've got Food Village. So Food Village, no, your one will probably say cargo chance equals 0 0.16. So you've got a 16% chance. So 16 out of 100 times, you'll get one of these items. And if you get one of those items, there's a 5% chance it's a biscuit spread. Um, biscuit, brisket spread, sorry. There's a 2% chance it's a can of Fronta. There's a 5% chance it's a can of sardine. So as you can see, the chances of you, of you getting these things are normally pretty low. So the first thing you can do to your server is if you want to have more chances of stuff spawning in bags, is to change the cargo chance. Now, f just for example, I've changed these to 1.00. So what that means is every time you come across something that's got a cargo um, preset of the food village, it's going to have one of these things inside it. Now remember, these cargo presets can be used on other things as well, uh, specifically infected or the zombies will often have them. So sometimes when we effect change one thing, we can change some other things um, inadvertently. But if we're trying to make the server easier, um, by doing this, then you know you, it doesn't really matter if the zombies have got some more on, have they? So in this case, every time you come across a um, Taloon bag or a hiking bag blue, it will have something from the food village. And if we go back to the mix village preset, we can see again, I've changed that from 
0.1 to 1.00. So you might want to put it up to 0.5. Remember, Daisy is all about looting and finding stuff. It's half the fun. So you don't want to make things too easy. But by changing it to, to 0. Point, even 0. 0.25, so doubling the chance of, of finding something in a particular um, bag, you know, will make things much easier. Now, if you wanted to as well, you could change the percentage on these things. Just bear in mind they should only add up to 100% all of these things or sometimes it's less than 100% but you don't want them added, um, adding up to more so you wouldn't have, want to have one of these say duct tape set at 1.00 because that would mean that uh, if, if a duct tape's always going to spawn in then none of this other stuff could possibly spawn in so I would say probably maybe don't even mess around with that stuff just change the cargo chance now the other thing you'll see what I've done with the uh, hiking bags is I've actually added another cargo preset. So you can actually look look along at say some of the other bags and go okay so the army pouches could come with mix army. So you can say oh what's in mix army so we could copy that go back to the random presets do a search and look for uh, mix army and we can say oh okay so mix army has got um cola spite oh but, and it's got some ammo as well so he goes oh actually i tell you what i like the idea of mix army so why don't we also add um mix army to our uh, bags so let's go down here and we can do um in fact i tell you what let's copy that first and let's paste that in Let's go back here. I like to copy and paste things even if they're fairly easy to spell because if you copy and paste it, it means you're less likely to make a mistake. There we go. So as you can see now, the hiking bag violet now has mixed army. Now as you'll see, an extra one I've put in already is grenades. So they could spawn with grenades. Now, in order to put a comment next to some code, which means a piece of text that the game ignores or a remark, I guess you call it. You do left arrow, left arrow bracket, exclamation mark, dash dash, and then you type what you want to type, and then do dash dash right arrow bracket. And that that way, I know that these bits are extra. And and you can see in here, you see it, I've copied and pasted the original cargo entry inside some remarks. So when I want to revert to the original, it's fairly easy for me to see that, and it also makes it very easy for me to see where I've made changes. So, as you can see, so we could add as many of those as we like, um, and the more we add, and if we change the percentage chance of them having something in the cargo, the more stuff would be in the bag. And I guess you could change it less if you want to make it harder. Now, the other thing you can do as well is you can add specific things to um, items as well. So, as you can see down here, if we look at the canvas bag medic medical, which is the entry here, we can see actually with the canvas bag medical it doesn't have a cargo preset at all so where these other things have got a cargo preset of food village and a cargo preset of mixed village the canvas medical bag actually has specific things that have a chance of spawning in so what it's saying here is that inside the medical bag there's a 60 percent chance you'll get a bandage dressing a 20 percent chance you'll get iodine tincture a 20% chance you'll get tetracycline antibiotics and a 20% chance you'll get a vitamin bottle. So what we can very simply do is if we wanted to, we could just copy that. And it's always good to, to I think, to and then copy and paste. And we could just add something to the top of bottom of here. And we could say, okay, so with the violet hiking bag, why don't we add a compass? And so what you probably want to do here is have a copy of your types.xml open you'll find it as that in your db directory on your server download that and then you could do Control f and let's look for compass so there's the normal one there's the orienteering compass so let's copy and paste that so we make sure that we don't make any mistakes there we go and then we can paste that into that and maybe we could change the cargo chance to I don't know, 0.25 so now if you pick up the violet violet uh, hiking bag it'll have a chance of all those cargo presets 
but it will also have a 25% chance, so a 1 in 4 chance, of having an, a specific item, which is the orienteering compass in it as well. And you can do that with as many items as you like. Obviously, you don't want to fill up the hiking bag with stuff, because generally, when people find bags, they want it because they want to put stuff into it, don't they? And as I say, I, with DayZ, less is more. I think it's really important. Don't get too overexcited about adding... <laughs> things into the game because all of a sudden it means that when you start as a new character after five minutes your character is good to go and the survival aspect of daisy is kind of gone which isn't too bad on a pvp server um if that's the kind of thing you're going for but for for daisy survival pve or just kind of a more of a vanilla daisy make things a little bit easier but only a small change in percentages a small increase can make the game lot easier and actually a small decrease as well can make it much much harder so if we were to go the other way and we were to change say mix army uh, that preset which will be in certain bags and also in certain zombies if we went from 0.1 to 0.05 to go from 10 percent to five percent so we would half the chance of of people finding that it means that if you take something like a bag, even a hiking bag, hiking bags are quite difficult to find in the first place. And if you've half the chance of them having anything in, that means that, okay, someone's going to find something, but then there's not going to be much chance of, the, of it having something in. So that makes the game a lot more difficult. Maybe not when you're, you're good to go, when your character's got lots of stuff and you've got food, you can go hunting. But at the beginning, when you're desperate, you know, and finding that can of tuna will keep your player alive for the, for the next half an hour, otherwise they're going to die, that, make a, make a, that can make a big difference. So there we go. That is how you increase the number of uh, things that you'll find in things like hiking bags or assault bags or any sort of bag or container. Just make sure you go into the CFG spawnable types and you can add more cargo presets. You can add specific items with a specific chance. And then what you can do is you can look at those cargo presets themselves for example, this grenade one, and you can change the chance. Yeah, I guess you could also add different items, couldn't you? You could also come up with them. Um, one thing I haven't added, actually, is you could make up your own presets. So you could have cargo preset um, grenade uh, explosive, um, and then you could have that as a separate one, which would only have, like, the RG5, or, or grenades Russian. You could do something like that, can you? Or flares, or something like that, and you can have a play around. But there we go. You can see it's pretty easy. Just make sure that when you have done this sort of thing, that you do go over to xmlvalidation.com, uh, upload the file, and check you haven't made any mistakes. And then when you're happy... Where were we? We were there, weren't we? re-upload the save file over the top of the existing one, restart your server, and those changes will slowly start to take effect. Do bear in mind, though, with things like this, in order for the new um, bags to spawn in with the new stuff, the old ones have to disappear, and that can take quite a long time. So if you want these things to start instantly, then it's really about doing it on a fresh install or a fresh wipe of a server that way. Otherwise, the old ones have to cycle out, and then the new ones cycle in. Anyway, that's enough from me. Hopefully you found this useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon.